Okay, we're ready to start. All right, good afternoon. Uh, we are Vermont Construction, and today we are presenting our proposal for the Fresenius Medical Care Demand Facilement Center. My name is Justin Gravatt, and I'm the project manager and will be on site full time and oversee all the project's operations. My name is Kyle Vandervelden. I'm a project superintendent and I'm responsible for quality assurance. Hi, my name is Logan Lawrence. I'm a project engineer and I'll be uh, full time on site helping out. Uh, I'm Matt Garrison. I am an assistant project manager and I will be supporting the site part time. My name is Raymond Clark. I'll be on this job as an MEP specialist and I'll be here part time. My name is Riker Saltzman. I'm a superintendent and I'll be bringing my expertise and industry knowledge to this project part time. Today we're going to begin with a product overview, followed by some of the key elements identified in the RFP. Then we'll move into our design solution and building system and technologies. Next, we're going to go into our construction solution, followed by our cost solution and finishing up with the conclusion and summary. To start, let's discuss some of the project's key highlights. This is a 614,000 square foot divan fulfillment center located in Knoxville, Tennessee. This building will serve as a new warehouse facility for you for Sunnius Medical Care. This is a design build project with a budget of $48.6 million, including the GMP and contingency. The project has an all in cost per square foot of just under $80. Some of the key design elements that we provided are tilt of construction and several specific MEP systems. Something that really excited us to pursue this project was the similarities between our corporate values and priorities. Your corporate mindset of people first every day really resonates with our safety first mentality. When comparing our company core values, both are nearly synonymous. We, where you prioritize collaboration, we see fostering relationships with our clients and project partners. With your proactive mission, we are ever forward building upon previous projects and always pushing the boundaries to deliver the best results. Reliability and dependability are one and the same, ensuring that we can always be counted on and finally, our mutual value of pursuing excellence and results. When reviewing the RFP, we identified some of the key requirements needed to make sure the project is a success. We wanted to make sure that our design solution was confirming with the RFP. We will be providing three full-time on-staff professionals and additional support staff from our main office. We will be coordinating with all stakeholders and owner vendors to make sure we are working together to deliver the best product possible. Finally, we have provided materials and system selections that individually add to the project's overall success. With our mutual core values of collaboration and relationships, the collaboration process is key for the delivery of a successful project. We will work tirelessly to ensure that there is constant and consistent communication and collaboration between all stakeholders to keep everyone accountable for delivering a high quality and innovative design build solution. Next, when pursuing any project, we craft a plan to ensure that we are delivering the best product possible. This starts with the initial high-level project analysis, looking into all the components of the project. We then went into detail review and, anal and analysis of all the requirements. With our ever forward mindset, we compare our previous projects to see where we can improve on the next. We are coordinate and consider input from all stakeholders and partners to ensure that we collaboratively work together to deliver the best product possible. Finally, through an iterative cycle of design and estimation, we ensure that we deliver the best value solution. Now Riker will go on to present our design solutions. So to start with our design solution, we're gonna identify some of the key features to our site. Um, so we're gonna start with a demolition plan. And to start, I wanna say that the red line here represents our property line. The blue line represents our construction limits and the green zone that you see is a vegetation buffer we must remain mindful of and protect throughout the construction. So first we're gonna start with our demolition plan and with our demolition plan, we have seven existing structures on our job site within our property line that need to be demolished and removed. We also have several thousand linear feet of existing fencing that we must remove that separates these buildings and their old properties. And then below, south of the vegetation buffer and within our property line, there are four existing structures that are to remain, but we, these will not likely affect our job site in any way. Um, next, we're gonna get into the new work and new construction. So first we have our 614,000 square feet demand fulfillment center and building pad, as well as the pump house located at the southwest corner. And then we have our parking lot where we followed the design given to us per the bridging documents. 
And to the southeast of that, we have our retention pond. And next we get into our utility plan where we'll have our water line coming in from the west of our job site, tying into the pump house and then into our uh, new facility. Then we have our gas line coming in from the west as well and tying into the southwest corner of our building. Then we have our underground electrical line tying in near the shipping office of our new, new facility. And then we have our fire suppression uh, utility line that encompasses our building pad and we'll be entering, we have bolded the lines where it enters into the, into the new building. And we followed this per the bridging documents because we think it gives great uh, immediate fire suppression to all different zones within our building, whether it's the offices or the uh, demand fulfillment center. And then we 